Hey everyone, so Mardi Gras is just around the corner and I'm going to be making one of my favorite dishes, gumbo. I'm going to be making mine with crawfish, shrimp, chicken, and andouille sausage. Now gumbo is a really interesting dish because it has three different places of origin. The first being West African, in which the word gumbo translates to okra, which was used as a thickening agent for the stew. Um, I'm not going to be using okra today. Um, the second is Native American, specifically the Choctaws and they introduced sassafras as a thickening agent for the stew. Um, this is also known as gumbo filet. The third is French, and they introduced roux to the stew as a thickening agent. Now, gumbo was made first mention of in 1803, when it was served at the New Orleans Gubernational Convention, and then it was also served in 1804 at a Cajun gathering along the Acadian coast. All right, let's make some gumbo. Okay, so let's start out with the roux. Uh, a roux is equal parts fat to flour, so here I've got a half a cup or four ounces of unsalted butter and four ounces of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to be bringing these two together with the whisk. And I'm going to be cooking these two for anywhere between 30, 40 minutes, maybe longer. Looking for color, this roux should be getting pretty dark before I move on to my next step. So it's mixed up now. Switch over to a wooden spoon. Um, keep a close eye on your roux while it's cooking. You don't want it to burn. You want it to gradually gain that dark color that we're looking for. You're going to see that here pretty soon. All right, we got some great looking color here. Kind of like a light milk chocolate looking color. Uh, so the next step is going to be adding the Holy Trinity, which is yellow onion, celery, and bell pepper. I'm going to sweat this out for a few minutes. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of chopped garlic. And half a teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of blackened seasoning, and a tablespoon of freshly chopped thyme. We're going to sweat all of this out. All right, next we're going to be adding a couple of bay leaves and five cups of chicken stock. I'm going to be bringing this up to a boil, then dropping it back down to a simmer. And we're going to let it simmer for about an hour. Got it boiling, now I'm dropping it down to a simmer. I am also going to go ahead and add my andouille sausage. Now this has already been smoked and cooked. so. I'm just going to add it now to allow some of that flavor to develop as this gumbo comes together. Okay, so it's been simmering for about an hour now. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding my proteins. I'm going to be adding half a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp with the tails off. Half a pound of crawfish tail and half a pound of cubed chicken thighs. I'm going to let this cook through probably about 10 or 15 more minutes and I'm going to add some tomatoes and that should be it. Okay, so we're going to finish up here. I'm going to take out the bay leaves at this point. You don't want to eat these, so make sure they come out. And I'm going to be adding some diced tomatoes. I'm going to let this cook for another couple minutes. They're going to check it for seasoning, see if it needs any salt or spice or anything like that. 
and that should be it. Thanks for watching, and happy Mardi Gras.